Speaker, yesterday we saw the worst of humanity, but we will remember the best. We will remember the extraordinary efforts to save the life of PC Keith Palmer, including those by my right honourable friend, the member for Bournemouth East. And we will remember the exceptional bravery of our police, security and emergency services, who once again ran towards the danger, even as they encouraged others to move the other way. On behalf of the whole country, I want to pay tribute to them for the work they have been doing to reassure the public, treat the injured and bring security back to the streets of our capital city. That they have lost one of their own in yesterday's attack only makes their calmness and professionalism all the more remarkable. Mr Speaker, a lot has been said since terror struck London yesterday. Much more will be said in the coming days. But the greatest response lies not in the words of politicians, but in the everyday actions of ordinary people. For beyond these walls today, in scenes repeated in towns and cities across the country, millions of people are going about their days and getting on with their lives. The streets are as busy as ever, the offices full, the coffee shops and cafes bustling. As I speak, millions will be boarding trains and aeroplanes to travel to London and to see for themselves the greatest city on earth. It is in these actions, millions of acts of normality, that we find the best response to terrorism. Yeah. 